Yeah, this is that first batch of rain that we were talking about yesterday that would be coming in for the morning hours. It's already here uh, and some of the rain is quite heavy. Thunderstorms are also developing down across South Georgia and all of those are moving in our direction as we head through the morning hours. The heaviest rain right now centered right along I-26. Uh, let's take you on a little radar tour. Georgetown, Williamsburg County, light to moderate rain for the most part right now, but it does get heavier as we head right along highway or I-26 from Ridgeville to Somerville down down into the Charleston Metro. It rains coming down at a pretty good clip right now. Uh, Walterboro, you're seeing some light rain, but heavier rain is developing down along the Savannah River and moving up to the northeast. And that has some lightning in it too. And I wouldn't be surprised if we do have some thunderstorms starting to roll in in the next little while. Uh, right now, Vipercast showing waves of showers and thunderstorms through the morning hours. Uh, it looks like this is going to be quite heavy at times. And just like we talked about yesterday, most of this should be winding down by mid afternoon. By two or three o'clock, most of us are done with this. We might see a pop up shower into the evening, but really things are done, I'd say, by two or three o'clock. It is a wet morning. Morning. Look at the rain coming down over Charleston Harbor right now where it is 69 degrees. It's 68 in Somerville, a very warm morning. It's southeast winds at about 10 to 15 miles per hour are picking up. It's going to be a breezy start to the day, but even more breezy after the sun comes up. And wind gusts today are going to peak out between 30 and 40 miles per hour for inland communities and up north of the Santee. And inside the Charleston Metro, we're going to have a ribbon of 40 to 45 mile per hour wind gusts, we think. Uh, so be prepared for that as you head out through the day. With wet ground, there could be some scattered power outages. Planning it out for you. Rain probability at 90% through noon, going to 70% by 3, and then tapering off into the afternoon and evening hours. Upper 60s to near 70 at 9 will be in the low to mid 70s at noon and 3. Notice those sustained winds by the time we get to the lunch hour out of the south at 25 to 30 miles per hour, and that continues to 3 o'clock. Then those wind speeds relax, but it's going to stay breezy through the night. Uh, today's threats. High wind and power outages, that's an elevated risk. Tornado threat is fairly limited. We also have an elevated risk of flooding rain and high surf. A high surf advisory is in place. A lot going on today, but as we look ahead, there's the payoff. Absolutely gorgeous into the weekend. I'll talk more about that coming up in about 10 minutes from now.